was in your playpen. You was eight months old in this picture. Evan Hubbard is my son, and me and Evan have a very tight, tight bond due to his illness. Evan was diagnosed at 19 months with nephrotic syndrome. So we had to go through a whole level, different levels of medications and different doctors. But to make a long story short, Evan had to do peritoneal dialysis at home. And that's how I met Dr. Kapoor. Kidney disease is actually very common in the United States. The portion of people that go on to end-stage renal disease, otherwise known as renal failure, uh, is reaching pandemic uh, proportions in the United States. And in fact, there's over 100,000 people waiting for a kidney transplant today. When I first met Evan, his kidneys had totally shut down. We put him through the transplant evaluation. We actually tested his parents. They were not blood type compatible, so they couldn't donate directly to Evan. It was a very long, long road. Um, there's times that you don't know when that road is gonna end or it's gonna turn. You don't, you don't know what to expect. You can't help but fall in love with five-year-old Evan Hubbard, who has nephrotic syndrome. Last week on Valentine's Day, he underwent a kidney transplant. Today, he met Muhammad Islam, the stranger who donated his kidney. I had this kidney transplant in Valentine's of 2008, and Dr. Kapoor was the one who started the transplant. I seen Muhammad that morning, and for some reason, we kept staring at each other, not realizing down the line in a couple of hours that he would be saving my son's life. We started the first donor exchange through the National Kidney Registry right here at Wild Cornell. And through that effort, we were able to offer Evan and his parents a best of kind living donor transplant. We know from our practice that those patients that are able to get a live donation get a much better quality kidney one that'll last two and a half times longer than most deceased donor kidneys will. Cindy Marshall, a former Marine, was inspired to donate a kidney after her husband donated one of his to his brother 12 years ago. She was matched to Anna Maria Berdeja from Hollis, Queens. In turn, Berdeja's husband donated one of his kidneys, which went to Long Island City resident Rubina Parvin. Which is Mohammed's wife. Then Mohammed donated to my son, Evan Hubbard. Evan's father then donated his kidney to another person, and that person's donor then donated their kidney that was flown to the West Coast. So it's a chain of, of love, life-saving, compassion. From those small amount of transplants performed on that day, we have now grown to having 70 centers across the United States involved in this effort. There have been more than 1,100 living donor transplants accomplished through this process. It has changed the way we practice transplant. In the past, 30% of the time, we would find that their loved one was the wrong blood type. If we look at just the work that's being conducted here at Wild Cornell, it's amazing. This is amazing. After I got my new kidney, I felt, you know, brand new. I had this new energy, I could walk, I could run. I'm in school now, I'm not homeschooled anymore. Evan has told me several times that he wants to grow up and be like Dr. Kapoor, which is all right by me. Come here, how are you doing? How you been? Doctors actually try to cure patients, and I want to be like that, I want to help other people. There is no doubt, I have a great job because I know every time I go into an operating room and do a transplant, there's better than a 95% chance that that person is gonna come out of there totally changed and helped for the better. And there is no better feeling than that.